I love how these people don't even care that I just came through the fucking ceiling. Okay. Anyway. Give me that. Back off. Do, 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 do. Ah. Well, sure. Why not? I'm sorry, man. Reload. Yeah. Fuck's sake. I mean, they're gonna come behind me, aren't they? Oh, hello. Oh, okay, now. I say that as one spawns right in front of me. Right. Sure. I know there's one behind me. Oh, there's multiple. One second. Whoever's in over there. No, oh, come on. Oh, I think he's dead. He's dead though. At least. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Can I go up here? Oh, I can. Alright, I don't think I need to use the cover. They're again zombies, for fuck's sake. Holy shit. Well. Eating my words instantly. Fuck, okay, now. Right. But these zombies, they... Fucking hurt when they get onto you. They hurt a lot more than the regular zombies I'm used to. Okay. Alright, I need to get off here. Okay, now. Right. What's happening over here? No, they're just spawning in. Ah, uh, Leo. Up and over. Holy shit. Only turned away for a second. Right. Uh, hack. There we go. I found the bomb car. The whole thing was wired up, primed to blow. There, there wasn't time. I couldn't disarm it. So what did you do? Remember how we can't get infected? Some of the rumors about us were true. That's why I was there. Why we make the sacrifice. I used my cybernetic abilities to reverse the polarity of the train car and detach it. The car unleashed the gas. It's safely outside the city. And you lived? I didn't know I'd make it at the time. But I turned out all right. It wasn't the last time I cheated death. Okay. Yeah, because the last time you, you cheated death was at the beginning. Pretty much when you get your arms and shit ripped off. No. Talking about that bit. No, 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 no. I remember this place. What are they doing to me? Dr. Salim, what am I seeing? Taylor? Why can't I move? You must let this go. Stay with me. Relax. Come back to me. Come back to the void. Okay. Yep. This uh, is great. I love the void. Glad I can't Can see shit. Me? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm back. I'm ready to continue. Good. Now that you've begun conditioning, okay. let's return to 2070. After coalescence collapsed, you were trapped in Singapore. With quarantine zones unlocked all over the world, we couldn't raise WA Command. If we were going to escape, 
We had to improvise. We turned to the 54 Immortals. They were dangerous and unpredictable, but they were no enemy of ours. Hendrix trusted them? What choice did we have? If we wanted out of Singapore, we had to go through the biodomes. We had to go through the Immortals. Okay. So did we hit, are we working with the Immortals? Somewhat? Or are we going to be fighting them again? Getting in was easy. Oh, it's just a bit. Getting out would be another matter entirely. At the time, the biodomes were the safest place to be. With the outbreak of 2060, the Immortals seized the marina and dug in. The biodomes were impenetrable. Dead proof. Hendrix had a contact, Danny Lee. He was slimy as I come, but he could get us transport. Not only that, Taylor had beaten us out of the biodomes, and Danny claimed to know where he was heading. They had this information. Danny was convinced Gojulan had info on her central server. They were doing us a solid, really. But that didn't come cheap. They wanted food, water, weapons, reinforcements from the Winslow Accord. We agreed to their terms, with no idea if we could honor it. The Immortals were a people of their word, and quite efficient in punishing those who did not act the same. Danny was in a bad mood. The Immortals weren't exactly happy to see us. They knew our part in what had happened in Coalescence. Danny went so far as to accuse us of opening the containment zones ourselves. Hendrix persuaded him otherwise. But that didn't change how I felt. We were there. We had our chance to stop Diaz in the server room. You cannot blame yourself for what is out of your control. There were powers in play far greater than your own. Powers with far more control. You were a pawn in his game. You mean Deimos? Well, as it turns out, we weren't his only pawns in the room. How do you mean? You can get us a ride out? Sure, I'll give you that. But claiming to know where Taylor was? Know that saying, too good to be true? Something was wrong. There was something malevolent, malicious. I called Danny out. I wasn't too happy with that. But then again, we assumed he was just scared. The outbreak now occurring worldwide was unprecedented. We were all scared. Up till now, we'd become complacent. We got comfortable. The dead had stayed in their cage, and we kept pretending nothing had happened. Taylor and Diaz changed that. Pandemonium, riots, civil war, countries were already tearing themselves apart, in many cases before the dead even reached them. But Danny wasn't scared. He was stalling. And it only took us another moment to find out why. The go siblings. Danny set you up. No, no, no. This was different. It was their eyes. Hollow. Empty. Void of life. Like they could see right through me. They all had it. Just like Diaz. It was only later we found out all higher-ups in the Immortals were outfitted with DNI. Like us. If only we'd known the part our own technology would play. The thing about dead killers, though. There's always a plan B. We had a robot squad in place, ready if the situation took a turn. Gojulan bolted before our robots got her. She was headed for the server room in Cloud Mountain, the only place we could put in the call from transport. It became quickly apparent that uninvited guests had joined the party in the biodomes. The dead okay. were flooding into this safe haven. It was about to become hell on Earth. Mm, we had to move. Fun. We had to get to Cloud Mountain. E. Oh, all I've got is a stupid little pistol again. All right. Hello, zombies. How you doing, buddies? Cool. Exactly what I wanted. A gun. God. 
Right. Recover, recover, recover. Why can't I move? Oh my. Where the fuck did that zombie come from? Like, seriously, where did that zombie come from? I don't remember seeing him. Or her. She was a female one. No. Fuck now. The speed that the zombies swing at is insane. I don't know how right. the undead got in. A forgotten open gate. A child's mistake. A poorly nailed board over a window. It didn't matter. It was spreading fast. We were already outnumbered 20 to 1. The remaining humans scrambling away or locked in their homes. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Right. Da -da -da -da. Oh my fucking god. Yes. Got a much more prettier camo for my gun now. Oh shit. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh fuck. Hello, mouse? Do you wanna maybe turn me around? Okay, there we go. Oh my fucking god. This is fucking a nightmare. Fuck. Move. I'm just gonna fucking run for it. Fuck me. These zombies are bitch. They attack way too quick. We heard that familiar screech. Parasites, mutated creatures born out of 6115 were flying towards us. Why are they fucking... Oh my... Really, I got tapped out again. Game, that please. Your screech. Parasites, mutated creatures born out of 6115 were flying towards us. Oh my fucking god. Where's the other f little fucker? I hear you. Where are you? Alright. At least I can just eliminate all these stupid shits. Well, wow, that was funny, just flew through the wall. Oh my god. Once they hit you, you can't turn. That is such a bitch. Alright. I'm just gonna run for it, because this is a nightmare in this area. There's like nowhere to... Like, funnel them. At least easily, that there isn't like millions of ways for them to come through. Yep, that's fine by me. I'm just going up and over. Oh, fuck me. With the shipping yard clear, ah. Cloud Mountain was just ahead. The server room at the top. We had a long climb ahead of us. Yeah, and um, we got loads of zombies as well. This is about to be a fun few minutes. Oh my god. Just keep checking behind me, make sure there's no sh sh shits behind. Alright. Give me the out, I need the ammo. Okay. Uh, do I have to destroy this? Because I would rather just fucking run for it. 